What's up guys, it's Jojo from Chaos Hammer and I'm here with another war recap, this time against the clan WX Effects. And um, we were victorious, so that's pretty cool. So um, nicely done on using every single one of our attacks. Um, we They did have a town hall advantage up on the top of the base of the, of the war map because... Actually, they had four Town Hall 11s, we had one, um, they had eight Town Hall 10s, we had 10, they had no 9.5s, we had one, We they had 10 Town Hall 9s, we had 15, they had no 8.5s, we had two, they had eight Town Hall 8s, and we had one, so, um, so as you can see, uh, again, with the whole um, being heavy on top, light on the bottom, and then for some reason we match up with them. So let's go on and get into the attacks. No, nope, before I do that, we did have quite a few six-star MVPs, and they were Seamurks, Big Ballas, The Devil, Ermac, Thorn, That Guy 2006, a.k.a. Cody, Jojo, Little Lumber, and Tack. So um, let's head into the attacks that I thought were cool. And we will start right here at, actually I'll first say that our number one, Aina, was able to get the two stars on number one and number three. He was our only Town Hall 11. And then we had Razul and Lumberhawk getting one star each on those on the remaining Town Hall 11s. The first attack we're going to watch is this one here done by Big Balas. Um, I'm hoping he could change his name or I'll just start calling him Andy. <laughs> so Andy here got a three star. It's a cleanup Laloon attack on this number five. So there you see that he will start his queen walk over at the 9 o'clock area and then um and then he his wall breakers make it into the wall to open up that part of the base. Um he has a wizard down here and then he will use a couple hogs to pull the clan castle out. And then from there, he's raged up his queen super early, as that's his style. <laughs> and um, and that just helps. I mean, well, she is getting hit by two, three different defenses. So that was nice of, nicely done. There, she's, she's taken out the first um, air defense. And then he has his king here. And will probably... I think he wall breakers in yeah he does wall breaker in to get to try to get to that second air defense there but his king um doesn't make it so there he's decided to start off dropping his hound in it does pull some of the traps that were in that area as well as soak up one of the streams to the inferno tower with those defenses out the next closest defense is that inferno tower so those balloons were it worked out easy peasy for them. Then there, he's his lava hounded go to the next air defense, and he now drops his max lava hound out. And um, so then the balloons just keep going in. He has he will um, he has two more freezes. Um, he drops one freeze. He misses the inferno. Um, yeah, because he has a second one, so he could just drop the next inferno right on top of the, on top of the inferno tower, and there it's done. The balloons are right there; they just take them out. He has pups everywhere, so let's head on into cleanup time. It's a nicely done, Andy. <laughs> So the next attack we're going to watch is this one here on number 10, done by Mahmood. We haven't seen him for a while, so this attack is a cleanup attack 
on um, using a vaho with um, with hogs in the CC. So um. So there he has his queen up at twelve, and she's just cleaning a bunch of the um of buildings in that area. He has his baby dragon down at three o'clock doing I think it clean it took out one of the buildings. Um his queen is quite low. She he uses his queen's ability and so there you see um just continuing there then uses the Valks and then um gets into the base drops his jump to have them go into that um into the first inferno his second jump is already there so that the valks have a second path right straight to that second inferno freezes it while th and drops a heal so that by the time the valks get into that second i mean it was eh, his valks were all full health when they already took out that second inferno so that was pretty cool so from there you'll see that his valks just keep on Going through the base, just knocking the um, the defenses. His healers are there on the Valks, so that's pretty sweet. He just uses his King's ability just to be able to zip through those few defenses. Um, there is a Lava Hound. Thankfully, his Queen didn't lock on to, to that. The Valks and King are now on the outside of the base, but there's just... A few more defenses they're gonna break right back into the into the base and just take out those last few defenses so we're just gonna speed that up and there you have it a nice three star attack from Mahmood so the next attack that we'll watch is this one here by Seamurts aka Devon and um, I don't think we've seen one of his attacks he is a visitor here at Chaos Hammer from time to time. So we'll just watch one of his attacks. He all, he's also doing a Vaho attack, but with Valks in the um in the clan castle. So his he has his queen over at the three o'clock area. He has a, a super wizard that's actually gonna take out a couple um of those high you know storage units and then we'll also trigger the clan castle which the queen is right there already ready to um, knock out. So he has a distract giant, uses some um, wall breakers to open up the base for um, for his queen to head in, drops a super early nice poison for the dragon and loons. Uh, this is a cleanup attack, so he did know what was in the clan castle. And then... Um, Right there, you'll see his queen does get the full lure. Um, and now he will, he has a Valk and then a wizard to create the funnel up at the 9 o'clock area. And I guess here is when the big bunch of his um, attack gets in there with the Valks breaking through that first wall. And then he drops a rage for them. So right there, when um, they're finished with that first compartment, the jump and the heal placed perfectly so that the Valks are able to knock out the first Inferno. They do take care of the Queen and those Valks do take care of that Tesla farm right there. And now he has his hogs right up at the top, you know, totally away from all the, from all the bombs and they're just going to destroy the rest of this base so there I'm just going to speed it up just a little bit there's just that inferno left and cleanup has um he actually had a I just noticed he had a swag heal and poison so nicely done Devon the next attack oops I had forgotten this one here up here at nine done by the unwanted um and this one is a cleanup attack also using um, a Queen Walk Go Vaho. Oh, what I had liked about this attack was that 
Actually, I don't even know if he had a Valks, but what I had thought was cool was that he uses his Valks to make the funnel as well. I guess we just saw Devon kind of do it, but in this one, it's like really clear. Um, it was pretty, I, I thought it was cool. So there you'll see the queen doing her thing. He uses a couple hogs to do the lure. And, um, you know, this combination with the three baby dragons and the one loon. So he drops a poison. Um, they aren't raged up because they are with, um, with other air troops. But, um, but yeah, so he drops his two bunch of vaults. He does the wall breakers right in the center. And all those high HP buildings were just perfect for the, um, for the Valks to just continue on. He drops his jump first and then um, freezes and catches these back end Inferno. He has a heal there for his Valks. His Valks take out that Inferno while it was still under, like, frozen. Um, he has a bunch of hogs that are just, you know, uh, just strolling through the base with the Valks being, um, Valks and the king are actually tanking for them, so that was pretty sweet. His queen is still there on the outside doing cleanup, um, and there you see it's, it's done. There's no more defenses there, so really nice job, Andy, on the unwanted. And then we have a, a couple more attacks that I thought were cool. Another guy that we haven't seen very much of, so I said let's show one of his attacks, was Hattie D on this number 14. Um, it is a cleanup attack, and um, he is going to knock out this number 14. So he comes at it with hogs and um, I guess the giants... Oh, this is an H G whatever it's called. H G H B um attack. So he has his giants um and then the bowlers behind. He had created that good funnel so the bowlers would go inside the base, drops a poison on top of the dragon just so that they will um they could knock that out. The queen comes, the queen and king were behind that. And then they're just going to continue strolling along the base, uh, it, within the base itself. And triggered the double giant bomb set on the right side. So then the hogs are able to come in and just take care of all of those defenses on this lower section of the base. He still has um, six more hogs that he drops on top so that an under heal so that they are able to knock out those defenses um so there you have it the hogs are completely full health continuing along the base um there is a giant a double giant set on the other side of this um this so thankfully only one hog paths over that and the rest of the hogs did go up to the archer tower and you'll see that um, they were able to take out a couple more defenses. So at this point, he does have his king and queen and bowlers on the outside of the base. But um, that's okay because the, the bowlers actually can get to almost all those defenses from outside. He uses his king's ability just to speed it up. I guess time was a little bit, it was going a little bit slower. I'm going to speed this up too. His queen and the bowlers do take out all the other defenses. He does have one bowler with a healer, which can take out these, the defenses on the outside. And there you have it. Nicely done. Nice three-star Hattie. And the very last attack that I wanted to show... Um, Cosby had really wanted this attack to be in this recap, so, um, here it is. So the devil is in this recap, the very last one. So he starts out his queen from six, 
he has a distract um, giant and then uses wall breakers to break her in. He has a he has this wizard on the outside, which did a really nice job on the on the funnel, and then was able to help out take care of that um, that archer tower, and will then take care of those high HP buildings right there. He, the queen, is taking care of the the clan castle troops. But what was pretty cute about this attack was um, just this queen walk. It was, you know. Um, it does look kind of like a maze and and Andy does treat it like a maze I guess he's just breaking his queen in and out just weaving through the through the walls that was you know that was um, that was cute to see so I'm just gonna speed that up to 2x he uses again the the giants and then uses a couple more wall breakers to um oops let's slow that down so so she's pretty low on health, but it just with just one defense, um, it's okay with her healers. So he's used a jump on the 3 o'clock area to just let in his Valks. And the Valks take care of the, the enemy queen. He has his king. He's going to walk through the through this like channel that um, between the two parts of the space, I guess. He's used his very last giant with um, wall breaker combination right up at the top so when the queen is finished she's the next closest building is the little builder hut up at the top and so she is going to head on up there um so he's broken her in out in and out and then for the very last time she's going to head into this part of the base he has a few hogs and they're going to take out um, maybe three defenses and then they will make bacon but um, actually two and a half defenses <laughs> but he still has his queen with her ability he has a rage for her in case he needs it but I don't think he actually uses it in this attack so um, yeah so there you have it really nice job Andy on getting that three star that next that uh, this guy is just a three-star machine <laughs> so there you have it um we are currently in war i guess i could show that oops osaki is live let's catch this one live <laughs> oh it's a bowler attack um so i guess the trick is just to keep the bowlers moving forward yeah i bet he had like a really nice funnel there the, the the bowler on the um right worked just in time to to save that um that healer let's see does this look like a three star yes it does he has his king and queen his mm, okay his king is like kind of low health but um but she has, but he has a healer on her. The the, uh, the bowlers are just walking around. Is there any building? Nope. So there it goes. Three star right there for Osaki. <laughs> well, that's it, guys. I hope that you liked the attacks that I showed for this war recap, and we did get to see Osaki with a live three star attack um, using mass bowlers, but. Three stars, a three star at this point, I guess. So, um, so yeah, take care and bye.